we were married in Ballantubber Abbey in Mayo and uh, he, was, he came a few days early on our wedding anniversary. It was the perfect day, everything just yeah. seemed to be perfect and then day two everything just started yeah. to go wrong. <laughs> I don't know what she doing at the time, but it turned out she was checking his sugars. And her face really was good. just gone was pale. Panic. This is a panic. So she said, this baby has to go to intensive care. So two days before Christmas, she came and she told us that they'd have to send us to Temple Street. He was taken. That was very hard. And we was taken on the incubator and just taken away from us. And we weren't actually allowed to go with him. And when they closed the door, I'll never forget that. I just thought things are bad here. Like he's really, really sick. I suppose it was very hard to watch in terms of he, had, he was in a cot, but every half hour or every hour, depending on the severity of his sugars, they had to prick his heel and squeeze loads of blood into it. That was every hour. Uh, so every yeah. hour for 24 hours for how many For four or five days? weeks or four or five months, yeah. I kind of made a pact that we, um, after a while, that, sorry, you know, I'm just thinking that we, um, we didn't know much about the illness, so we just said we'd try and be his mum and dad. We just said we're going to stop going in and asking about the illness. They look after that and we just try and... Um, Emotionally support him. Yeah. Mm. And they said, look, we have to go to England for the scan. You know, it was a fairly extensive surgery and they have to open the stomach. The pancreas is quite small and then they'd have to, you know, remove 95% of it. And then that morning, what do you say? No. Come on now, give us one more smile. No. Give us one more big one. We got a miracle. Smile again. Um, he sat down and rubbed back an eyelid. He said, Would you believe? We only had to remove 3%. I, I said, What? And we just burst into tears at him. Precious moment, isn't it? I got my baby to myself. And I got my baby to myself. I just remember one special day he did. It was the first time we could hold him ourselves without anything. It was a massive, actually, oh. it was a massive day for him, for us. Yes, you are. Imagine bringing him outside. How do you do that? Oh, I love you. But when we came out of hospital for a long time after a few months, even that detachment, like Tempest Street, was, was home for us, wasn't mm, it? Yeah. Um, Words can't describe really how graceful we, I am to them. Mm. Um, for, for for what they've done for him and saving his life really. Mm. Um, medical care part is part of it. But what makes them stand out is the love they give you and the emotional and support they give you. It's the human touch mm. um, that just makes it so special. Mm. You know, they need a lot more support. They do. Mm. You know, we have a huge emotional connection to Temp Street now and we'll, we'll, we'll be supporters forever. But the people who give it's life-saving mm. it's life-saving 